Hey, what's up guys? Simran here, Master Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And as you can see, I'm not exactly in my studio right now. We're gonna be doing a different video today. This is my car. This is a 07 QX56 by Infinity. I've had this car for God knows how long, many, many years. But recently, I've had my brake light as well as my slip light come on, which it has come on in the past and I've had it cleared by the dealer. It seems to be a glitch in the computer itself. It's functioning properly, but for some reason, every now and then the light comes on. So what I did was, instead of going back to the dealer and paying them $75 to shut the light off, I actually bought this tool off Amazon and we're gonna try resetting those lights ourselves. So let's go ahead and jump in the car. All right, as you guys can see here, I've got my brake light on right there, my slip light and my VDC off, which I actually don't have it off. For some reason it shows that it's off. So these lights have come on and off multiple times. And like I said, I have previously had it cleared by the dealer and I'm gonna try and go ahead and clear it out right now. In full disclosure, if you know your system has an actual issue, meaning that you have a brake issue or your vehicle dynamic control doesn't work, you don't wanna just reset the light, make sure you get it checked. Uh, I know that my system actually works, but for some reason lights come on, so that's why we're gonna go ahead and reset it ourselves today. But do not do this yourself. If you know or don't know, there might be actually something wrong with your system. All right, let me go ahead and show you the device. Here is the control module that I bought from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it below, of course. And this basically just goes into the port and the computer here. And uh, let's power it on and see how well this thing works. All right, I'm gonna go into the ignition off. And for me, the computer port is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the computer port. It looks like smaller parts on top. Let me see if I can do this while looking at the camera. Just like that. Computer has come on and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ignition on. And let's see, it's gonna say diagnostics, vehicle info, settings, review, DTC lookup. Let's go ahead and do. I don't think it's touch screen, so we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. Please wait. Let's see what it does. Continuous recording will now start. GPS read trouble connected. codes, erase trouble codes. Yeah, let's go ahead and read trouble codes. Enter. Read current codes. Go ahead and enter. No trouble codes. All right. Let's go ahead and go back. Can we do a read pending codes? No trouble codes, so nothing found. Interesting. Let's go ahead and go back. figure out how to go back. Back, there you go. Let's go to erase trouble codes, even though it didn't actually find any. Let's do that. Fault code is erased. All right, let's go ahead and go back. Curious to know if I can get more information from here. Let's go to component test. This is going to go ahead and check the components. I have no idea what I'll do. 
this green, so I'm not even gonna mess with it. I probably should not have even gone into it. Since that it's been cleared, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the car off, see if it comes back on or not. It's telling me all kinds of information. Temperatures, intake temperature, airflow, mass, okay. So if you guys know what this stuff means, comment below, let me know. Otherwise, I have no idea what this means. All right, let's go ahead and go back. Go back. I'm curious to see what's on page two. Vehicle information, communication module. Sensor monitoring test, let's try that. Blank, 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 blank. Right? I don't know what blank means. Sensor test not supported. Okay, well, we don't know what to do that means. Let's go down to vehicle information, make sure it actually reads everything. That is my wind number. All right, so it's working. All right, let me go ahead and turn the car off and see if those codes disappear or not. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back on and see if the Parking light disappear or not. As you can see, the lights are now gone. So I guess the thing did work as far as clearing the codes go. And as a reminder, um, before you use this actual module, make sure that you check the actual fluid levels to make sure the fluids are where they should be because that could be one of the reasons why the lights are coming on. But it looks like the sensor Continuous worked. Again, I'll go ahead and leave the link below if you guys want to go check it out. Uh, but hopefully this was helpful. If you did, make sure you leave me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.